Welcome back everybody. So again we are Hill Dodge. We got drift week coming up. Uh we got what five days after today we'll have four days. So I went this morning, I had ordered the parts. Yeah, of course everything takes a day. So the line that I had gotten out, and we got a new one. This is crazy. This line is almost a hundred bucks. Um <clears throat> this piece right here which is a uh, sort of like a compression style fitting cleaned it up and got it out i went and got a special tool to get all this stuff apart and didn't really need that tool come to find out because i tried to use it didn't work so then i just sat here i cleaned it real good and i used a little itty bitty flathead screwdriver and got it all apart but I went ahead while I was at the parts store and just ordered a new one because, you know, it's already here. It's, a, you know, already a part. Go ahead and replace it. I don't know how old that line is. So I'm going to be working on trying to get this uh, uh, changed over and fed in. I've got to get this fitting off right here that feeds back into the oil cooler or transmission warmer, or transmission cooler, whatever it is that goes up and under the piece that's under the block. Um when i looked at it online the proper terminology was oil cooler but it's the little johnny that sits right behind this metal bracket uh, it just looks like a tank and transmission lines feed in i'm going to assume that it is a transmission uh oil warmer uh, because i have the cooler right here so i don't know i feel like the block gets pretty hot so that's the reason why they put it there um so yeah i'm gonna be working on getting all this stuff settled up and fished in tomorrow the, or well today but i have to go to work the parts will be in i go get them in the morning work on getting this together and then i gotta go get some tires changed but if you're just now finding yourself to the channel uh go ahead and click that subscribe button uh greatly appreciated if you are watching and you're logged in and whatnot just go ahead and hit the thumbs up button um we've only got a few days it be cranking out, burning some tires. I still got to find a place to uh, change some tires, uh, get four of them swapped over, and get the car and stuff loaded up. Hopefully, by Wednesday, the truck will be good to go. I can hook to the trailer and get the car and stuff loaded up and try to be fully prepared at least two days in advance. So, here we go. We're going to crank something out on the truck. The fitting that goes into the cooler warmer on the back i got it off i put me some, i cleaned it up real good and put me some uh, rtv on it so i'm gonna go ahead and seat this back in there let that rtv be drying up kind of tighten it up a little bit if you see the little red that's on there there looked like there was some type of thread locker or sealant on there in the past this stuff really works really good it's the um oil resistant black stuff from gasket maker um, got to look and I didn't have any wrenches that fit this size, but it is a 7 8 Fits on here perfectly So I'm gonna dig through and see if I can find a 7 8 wrench just so I can hold it in place because I know that the line matches a uh, 22 millimeter so I'm gonna crawl up and under here and get this bad Johnny put in there and let it be drying So got her started Give her a little, little juice, tighten her down a little bit. I'm gonna come back and snug it up some. And get me a different ratchet and tighten her up. Let that be drying up. And then I'm gonna start rooting my line while that goes down. All right. Fitting and everything is on. Got the hard line ran. Uh, let's see zoom out. There we go That's the hard line ran It crosses up goes above the cross member by the starter wire Comes out right there now I'm Putting this line back in this hard line um, Is It's it's not the most difficult thing in the world, but it does kind of suck. It's a little bit of a pain in the ass um and the reason why is is because the hard line it's pre-made uh pre-bent guesstimate to some other lines so you kind of have to finesse it 
Um, it's not the hardest line to bend in the world, but just the position that you're in and uh, how you have to bend it to try and fit it, it does kind of suck. Um, laying on the ground doesn't make it any better, but if you're on a lift, maybe you have more headway to move around and stuff, but I'm laying on the ground in my driveway. So the worst part of it was lining that up and since that's a brass fitting you kind of have to be careful uh not to cross thread it because that is very possible um so i got all that in there i end up having to just coat everything in pb blaster i'd read on a forum you know what people were talking about it was like yeah just sling pb blaster all over the lines and stuff makes stuff a lot easier yada 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 so after wrestling with it for a little bit i slung some pb blaster on it and lined it up had a brace one hand push wiggle around with the line and got it to start screwing on and made it quite a few threads didn't catch no resistance so i went ahead and tightened it down with a 22 millimeter so tomorrow we get that line that goes on the end of that and then hook it back up to the trans cooler and fill it up and then see where we're at with the transmission and we're back the next day so i placed the order for this remaining piece the high pressure hose that just slides in over the fitting and there was two different ones uh two different prices there was actually a pretty big price difference uh and the only difference in the hose was is the other one was about four inches longer uh pretty significant price so i went ahead and got the shorter one the cheaper one because i'm gonna end up uh trimming it up anyways so i've got fluids already in put fluids in um i'm gonna work on putting this hose in securing it and then i should be good to start it up let the fluids run their course make sure that i'm topped off and then go for a test drive and then the next goal to get ready i think today right now right this moment is tuesday try to get me some um, tires get my tires mounted and everything um car should be good to go verify air in the tires on the trailer uh get the car on the trailer and hopefully be prepared for this event three days in advance so fingers crossed on that i'm gonna finish getting the truck together whoo celebratory victory jeez so i i figured i expected this fitting this line right here which just presses on clips on two clips in the back and it would be pretty straightforward and easy, but I was wrong. I guess new stuff, tight tolerances. Uh, I even tried to put the old hose back on, and it wasn't happening either. So, you see there's scuff marks and stuff. I had to grab a, a set of channel locks and a rubber mallet and just kind of ease it on there uh, best I could. And then get both clips on the inside to come out and finally seat it so um when it is seated you do have this movement right here it's a little bit of play when you don't it's not a good time so yeah i'm going to i've already ran the line through here with the other line and i'm going to connect it back to this barb fitting that i had uh, we're going to square that up and now we're going to start her up and check for leaks lines and stuff all secured all good to go Go on. Give her a start up and peek under there and watch for any leaks.
We're on our maiden voyage. Check the fluids. We're good to go. I was sitting on like 4% fuel, so I went ahead and took the opportunity to fill this thing up. Right to the gas station. We'll watch these numbers climb. Right with five. to eat. See how much fuel we put in here. Probably going to be about a hundred dollars. But all systems are a go. Vitals are good. So hopefully this lasts for a long time. <laughs> we stop. Oh man. Well, the consensus is we're loaded up and ready to go. So, the car, I got tires mounted. Uh, shout out to my old lady for getting my tires mounted while I was at work. And due to the whole process with the truck, I missed my opportunity to go change my tires. And she did it for me after work one day. So, Bless her heart, she got that one backwards, but well, I'll fix it when I get to the event. I don't really want to deal with it right now. Um, so we need fuel uh, for the fuel cell and fuel for the, the gas jug. Unfortunately, it's looking like it's going to rain this weekend, or Saturday at least. Um, so I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Uh, I don't like drifting in the rain. It's it's a challenge, but it's not it's not fast paced, um, especially for this car. I'd rather do it in something like really low power and you know tight and nimble. Uh, adds more fun to it. But regardless, I'm gonna go drift. You know, have some fun, chill the like the old school chill Halley days. Hopefully, I know there's some people that ain't gonna make it that I wish that would, but Trailer's loaded, car's loaded, we got uh, trucks good to go, got to get some ice for the cooler, and make it happen. So, we have T-minus less than 24 hours, I think we got uh, 16 hours maybe until it starts. So, if you found your way to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up. Uh, drop a comment um, more drifting content coming maybe I don't know a lot of people already do and have done drifting content so I guess it's your style you know of uh, your personality of what draws people in you know that it shows that people want to watch your stuff and whatnot so maybe it'll grow I know my off-road stuff does a whole lot better but I'm wanting to get back into it next year uh, a lot more than once or twice a year so you guys let me know everybody that watches and keeps up with it let me know you know drop a comment or shoot me a Facebook message or a text message or something and uh, let me know what you think so if you're not subscribed subscribe hit that like button uh, I appreciate everybody for coming uh, and, and enjoying and watching you know with the channel and everything um, supporting links down below merch uh, there's some other links uh, you can find all the social media. There's a lot more posts on there than just videos. But hey, I'm going to shut up and I'm going to end this one out. Here we go. Let's go do some drifting. Peace.